Hi friends and welcome to this talk on how technology is solving India's problems. A brief introduction of myself. My name is Abhishek Pandey. Post my educational degrees with MPBM, AKTU and I am Lucknow. I work Pan India in risk management consulting and corporate market side into banking before co-founding Indo AI Technologies, which is a firm into geo-enabled facial recognition technologies. So Bharat or India in English that we know currently looks like this. This landscape is widely accepted to have the most treasured history globally and holds around a fifth of the world's population. These are positive times for the country considering that not only India is looking to reach global leadership stature, same feeling is being reciprocated by the world which is looking at India for a better future and it, to guide it towards the same. And one of the key fulcrums for this transition over the last few decades has been technology. Before I come to the how of this session's topic, I would like to briefly touch upon the why. We have witnessed various eras in history and now there is incrementally more awareness what are some of the commonalities between the widely accepted golden eras. It's few common principles. Prevalence of truth, prevalence of justice, prevalence of compassion prevalence of purity and reverence for mother nature. The biggest facilitator in the current framework of things to achieve these five principles has come up to be technology. Now let's come to the specifics of this topic under these five principles. So we will start with the principle of truth. Lack of transparency across segments has been a critical problem for India and also a root cause of corruption. However, things are slowly but surely changing and at an incrementally faster pace. Access to correct information is only increasing. Also, the country has around 138 crore identified Aadhaar holders with images and fingerprints on record, which is a huge, huge enabler towards transparency as well as convenience. This exercise only expedited the later developments like Jandhan accounts, direct benefits transfer, appropriate distribution of government schemes to individuals, etc. Going forward, its scope can and should be broadened to ensure clear identification and linkages of both physical and monetary assets. Technologies like our own geotagging enabled facial recognition can be embedded to make respective objectives of organizations achievable in an even more real time, reliable and safe manner. Talking about our own firm, uh, Indo AI Technologies, the aim has remained to make one's face one's identity. And once that becomes a reality at scale, the benefits with respect to achieving truthfulness across segments are unparalleled. Now, coming to justice. Well, uh, whichever generation uh, you are from, you would be aware who the biggest star in Indian cinema has been. Happens to hear from my hometown. Now, uh, his career began to boom with the concept of being an angry young man. And if you have watched movies of those times, the reason was some or the other kind of injustice resulting from incrementally declining value systems, especially of those in some or the other positions of power. Today, technology has become the chief enabler to ensure justice. The kind of surveillance analytics available is only improving. Of course, needs uh, a right intent for appropriate usage and uh, that can come through a combination of people and AI. Now, in fact, our courts are also getting modernized and working towards transparency. Initiatives like talking about Indo AI, the real-time actionable analytics oriented AI camera that we have developed will only augment achievement of this particular objective. Now, let's come to compassion, which I personally think is the most critical. What is compassion? It's when one connects one's own feelings with other animals around, including humans, and tries to help them come out of any distress. If you have the intent, technology is there to help you. Social media platforms are the number one tool for connecting compassionately if one chooses. Just to give you another example, through technology, Indo AI Technologies was able to deliver authenticated certificates of corresponding participations 
to contractual workers like carpenters, cleaners at the G20 summit held in Bhubaneswar this year. It took us a few seconds to deliver each certificate and that resulted in the scale at which it was delivered. Same wouldn't have been the case if a high ranking official was supposed to sign all of them personally. Now, all participants from every strata of society have proofs of what they have delivered at what platform, basis which they can go on pursuing higher ambitions. So this particular principle, I think, involves the highest amount of human intervention. As I tell my teams, uh, AI can replace everything but being humane. And technology, with your right intent, will only expedite implementation of good intentions. Now, coming to this principle of purity. Purity can also be translated as cleanliness. Of course, uh, became a nationwide topic, was the current dispensations Swachh Bharat call. But I think it was also one of the many positive reinforcements in lifestyles that the pandemic made people do. In fact, the genesis of our firm, uh, Indo AI Technologies, stems from the finger touching ban during the lockdowns. It was realized that touching can also bring dirt to you. And we came up with the uh, geotag apartheid at scale to replace biometric. Be it the Namami Gange mission, or water cleanliness exercises in general, all continue to get incrementally benefited through technology. In its current stage of evolution, whether electric vehicles are contributing to reduction in air pollution levels or not is debated by some. But no one debates that it actually contributes to cleaning noise pollution. A clean external environment for sure contributes to purity within and thereby in society. Technology is a key enabler to achieve this objective. And last but not the least, in fact the highest, is reverence for Mother Nature, Mother Earth. This has multiple contributions through materials related technologies. In general, the more humankind moves to plant based materials for various consumptions, the better. It's a fact and thankfully being incrementally realized as well. Technology has enabled work from home concepts which reduces burden on uh, Mother Earth with respect to infrastructure. At Indo AI, we deliver solutions at the least resource consuming levels. Now, one has to dig deeper technically to understand, but uh, essentially, this all contributes to reducing the burden on Mother Earth. So with these thoughts, I would like you to ponder upon more usage of technology on this Independence Day under the five principles I talked about. Vande Matram, Namaste.